I absolutely love this time of year because all of a sudden we can start using catapults a bit more and really seeing the benefit. I cannot tell you, sometimes when you're using, a, sometimes your peg can seem like it's totally dead. You can be tapping in a few pellets or, you know, you've potted in a little ball or whatever it is that you've done and it'll work to a degree, but picking up your catapult can literally transform your peg. Certainly throughout the winter months, I've been doing it with maggots, casters, those sorts of baits, silverfish fishing. And the difference, that little bit of a spread, the noise when it goes in the water, fishing over a little bit of an area, it's absolutely huge and you definitely catch more fish as a result. But now we're coming into spring, there's gonna be a lot more using your catapult nice and accurately, probably with pellets. First of all, probably on the deck. And then as we get going, no doubt it's gonna be shallow fishing and also bomb fishing, waggler fishing. It's such an important tool to use, but it's something that a lot of people struggle with. And what I wanted to show you today was just simply how to get the best out of it when you're using your pole. So first of all, for me, it's absolutely important that you are nice and comfortable when holding your pole. I always sit, I sort of square my body across slightly. So I've got, because I'm fishing 14 and a half meters today, I'm trying to make it, you know, a little bit harder. I've got this on my front leg. You can see all the weight of the pole is down on my front leg there. And as the pole comes back, it's then coming down, down my arm and I'm holding it with my elbow. So technically speaking, I don't need any hands to hold the pole. There's very little wind at the moment. So you should be able to do this. You should be able to have the pole completely balanced. And if I was to get a bite, I can use a combination of my uh, leg and my elbow together, not one or the other, or using them both together to obviously strike into any bite that I get. Now, if I want to feed, this means my hands are completely free to get the best out of my catapult. So I like to have my bait on my left-hand side. And when I fire with a catapult, I'm just going to pick the catapult up to start with. When I fire with the catapult, I hold the, the pouch in my left hand, and uh, sorry, the handle in my left hand, pouch in my right hand and feed like that. If you do it the other way round, that's obviously really awkward. And I would suggest if you hold your pole like this, you try to learn how to catapult to suit the way you hold your pole. I think that's very important. So your catapult's on your bait. And without looking, I can reach down, pick my catapult up and hold my pouch in the right hand like this. All right, so I've got, the, I've got access to the pouch right here. I always put it right on top of my pole. Put a little indication there, just lay my rig back in. Now, if I wanna feed, let's just do the typical 10 pellets. I can literally reach down, I can feel the pellets that I want. All the time, I don't have to look up, I don't have to look anywhere else, I don't have to look away from my pole or my float. And I can sort of pick the bait up and I pick just over 10 pellets and I'll sort of just drop in those 10 pellets like that. There you go, 10. All right. Now, again, I haven't had to move my right hand. Everything's nice and controlled with my left hand and I can pick up the pouch. Now, for me, the best way to do it is like to hold the pouch almost directly over the top of the pole, nice and still. And I like to move my left hand towards where I'm firing and then let the pouch go when I want to. Obviously, traditionally, you try to pull back with your right hand to fire with a catapult, but when you're holding a pole, it's much easier. And you've actually got the best line marker you could ever want because your pole is obviously arrow straight to your float. So what you're trying to do, if Mr. Cameraman can come in behind me here, is you're trying to keep the elastic almost down the pole look. So look, the elastic's like in a straight line along the pole. And then I'm almost using the tension with my left hand to get it as I want it before I let it go. So obviously practice, you need to practice because you're trying to get your distance right, but look, I'm holding it there and then I can literally just flick it down there towards the end of my pole. Lovely little tight grouping of bait around my pole tip, which is obviously gonna make something happen. Now, I'm a massive fan of using my catapult twice. So. If I wanted to feed 20 pellets, I would literally do it like I've just done there. I would get 10 pellets and then I would get 10 pellets again because I believe I get two lots of noise and I'm sort of almost giving myself an allowance for if, if I'm slightly inaccurate or something like that. I've got sort of two groups of 10, if you like. And I think that's really important. So I always think whatever I want to feed, 
almost just split it in half. If it was 10 pellets, I'd be feeding five at a time, something like that, just because I think two lots of noise. But you can see there, it's so easy to do. The whole time I haven't had to move or do anything, I can literally just reach down. I've got the perfect line marker and let go. Obviously when I'm, for me now, that means that's pretty much how I catapult. If I'm feeding a bomb or a waggler, I can just obviously, if I wanted to be feeding a waggler line, I'd reach down for my six mils, pop my six mils in. I think, oh, I'll keep that bomb line topped up. I can aim out towards the island and <clears throat> ping the pellets out there. I think it's a really important skill I'm a big fan of this catapult, by the way. You might have noticed the catapult I'm using. We do some great Duraslip catapults. <coughs> we do all sorts of different ones, and everyone's got their own personal choice of catapults. I'm a massive fan of this one because there's a lovely flat pouch in the bottom, flat bit in the bottom of the pouch. And that flat bit in the bottom of the pouch allows my bait to almost be, <coughs> excuse me, pushed out together, nice and tightly grouped. So if you're not the best with a catapult, Get on the bank and put some effort in because it will definitely catch you more fish.